Whenever you are ready. Um, Jai Bhim, everyone. Uh, I'm Sujata Ramteke, um, and I will be hosting today's session. So, uh, first of all, I would like to thank all the ALS team uh, for giving me this opportunity. Um, you know, to to host this, um, guide me, encourage me, and having confidence in me um, to to carry this baton. Um, so uh, today's session is is on uh, Basavanna, um, uh, the Saint Basaveshwar, uh, who was known as Basavanna. Uh, he was a, a social reformer, uh, 12th century social reformer. Um, so this month uh, on 3rd May, it was um, his birth anniversary. Um, so we thought it would be a um, you know good session um, to have our guest speakers um, who who can talk to us uh, about his life journey, um, all of his work that he has um, done. So um, he was, uh, I would like to give a brief, like whatever I have, um, you know, I did some, uh, I also read uh, about him um, for the last few days and got to know some really interesting facts that I would, I would like to uh, just share before we um, hand over uh, this to the guest speaker. So um, as I said, he, he was a 12th century, uh, a philosopher, uh, a social reformer, a poet, um, and he was also very well known for uh, women empowerment movement uh, in South India. Um, so Basavanna spread actually social awareness uh, through his poetry, uh, popularly known as Vachanas. Uh, he rejected um, any uh, gender or, or social discrimination. Um, so, uh, he rejected superstitions, rituals. Uh, he was a strong proponent of ahimsa, uh, nonviolence, and vehemently condemned uh, human and uh, animal sacrifices. Asavanna thought uh, that every human being uh, was equal, uh, irrespective of the caste, um, and, and all forms of manual labor are equally important. Uh, he believed that it wasn't the birth uh, but the behavior uh, that determines a true saint or a true man. Um, he was a, a poet, as I said, and I found a very um, interesting um, uh, poem um, that really resonated with me. Um, so would like to just share. Uh, it's just a very small poem. Uh, it's an English translation. Um, it goes, um, it says, uh, Rich build temples for Shiva. Um, what can I, a poor man, do? Uh, my legs are pillars, my body is temple, uh, my head makes the golden cupola. Listen, O Lord, um, of the meeting rivers, the standing will perish and the moving will stay on. So what I got from this poem, small poem, is um, according to the you know, teachings of Buddha, uh, where he always emphasized uh, to be your own light, um, to be self-made, um, and uh, nothing is permanent in this life, in this universe. Change is the only constant thing. The one who stands will, the one, the one who stands still and resists the change will always perish. But one who embraces it with open heart and open mind uh, will be a survivor. That's what I got from from this poem, which uh, really resonated uh, with the ideas that I go by in my life. So just wanted to share that. Um, with this, I would like to introduce our, our speakers, uh, honorary speakers for today, uh, for today's session, uh, Professor Rajnanda Gargi. Um, a bit of introduction uh, about her. Uh, she is uh, ex-principal of KSR uh, College of Education, Belgam, Karnataka. She's a, um, a secretary for Belgam Association for Science Education. Um, she is a member of Vigyan Parishad and uh, Kannar Sahitya Parishad, Bangalore. She has conducted many state and district level programs for students as secretary for Jilla Vigyan Samiti, uh, Belgam. She is a member of many, many women organizations at Belgam. Um, many of her uh, short stories, uh, poems and articles um, have been published in local magazines. She has spoken on programs called Osaki, aired by Chandana TV Bangalore uh, on women education. She has participated in various uh, panel discussions on Suvarna and Basava TV channel. Uh, as an AIPC member, she has attended many national and international conferences for uh, various causes. She is a writer and publisher of poetry book called uh, Atrangada Ale uh, and a story collection book, Avantar. She also uh, wrote a Kannada translation of Sherlock Holmes. 
So ma'am, on behalf of all the ALS team, um, I would like to extend a warm welcome to you. Thank you, thank you very much. Should I start now or? Yes, yes ma'am. Am I audible to all? Yes, yes, please. Yes. Uh, namaste. Respected dignitaries of Boston study group and my dear audience, I feel very privileged and honored to be a part of this lecture series organized by Boston study group, speaking on the topic, Basavanna, a rational social reformer. I thank the organizer for giving me this opportunity to share some of my thoughts on Vishwaguru Basavanna. He is a Vishwaguru because his philosophy and preachings are relevant to the whole world. We know billions and billions of people have lived in this world, but very few are remembered. The society remembers only those great personalities who lived for the cause of others, who fought for the welfare of others, who tried to make this world a better place, to live by erasing inequality, and who lost their lives for the restoration of value and dignity of destitutes. Lord Basaveshwara was one of those rare personalities. Recently, we celebrated his 889th birthday as Basava Jayanti and we cherished the memories of this great personality whose journey in the 12th century witnessed unprecedented revolution that created history. We remember him as a great humanist, mystic, philosopher, savior of downtrodden, messenger of equality, and democracy. His fight against social evils of his times, such as caste system and the ritual practices was remarkable. To understand the thoughts of Basavanna, which led to the movement of social reforms and the significance of his contributions it is very essential to understand the social system of 12th century. In the early 12th century, when Basavanna was born, the society was divided into four classes under Varnashrama system. Brahmins, Kshatriyas, Vaishyas, and Shudras, which was stratified. Brahmins were at highest strata and Shudras were at lowest who were engaged in physical work. Some of them were untouchables and they had to live outside the village. Landlords and priests were exploiting the people. Education was denied to them. Even though they worked hard, it was for the benefit of upper class. The upper classes had a major share in the earnings. The conditions of untouchables was pitiable. The sight of untouchables was considered inauspicious. In some places, they had to tie a broom or leafy stem to their back to erase their footprints while entering the village, even though they had to come there for some work. They were not allowed to read Vedas or the other religious books if they violate these rules, they were punished severely. Molten lead was used to be poured in their ears. Due to all this, their personalities were retarded. Priestly class exploited the people in the name of heaven and hell and invented meaningless rituals based on these false notions. Number of deities were worshipped 
with the different rituals. Animal sacrifice was very common in those days during the re, uh, religious rituals. Women did not have any freedom according to Manusprati. They were protected by the father, and they were protected by the husband and protected by the son during their old age. Women did not have privilege of participating in any religious ritual. Even in Brahmin community, women were considered as shudras, unclean, and they belonged to the lowest strata of the society. Under these circumstances and such social system, Basaveshwara was born in the town of Basavana Bhagavadi in the northern part of Karnataka in an orthodox Brahmin family. I have to mention the names of noble parents who gave birth to such great personality, Sri Madarasa and Madalambike. Young Basavanna was very sensitive and observant. His revolt against discrimination began when he was just eight years old. When he had to undergo Upanayana, which was Vedic ritual to wear holy thread called as a Janivara, he was very disturbed as his elder sister Nagamma was denied of Upanayana and she was not allowed to wear that holy thread, Janivara. He wanted to know what was wrong in being girl. Sensitive Basavanna was disturbed by the ignorance deeply rooted in the society, irrelevant rituals, untouchability, and gender discrimination. He left his home and went to Kapadi Sangama. Later, he joined King Bija as a treasurer initially, then he became a minister. Basavanna had never desired for any big post like this, but he could use it to build his ideal society. In Kalyana, he could meet some like-minded people who became his followers. Due to his divine love, compassion, and integrity, he became very close to people, and because of his popularity, Kalyana became a center of attraction. People from different states migrated to Kalyana to be with Basavanna. Basavanna strongly believed in a casteless society where each individual has equal opportunity to rise up in life, to give force to he, this noble mission. He conceptualized Anubhava Mantapa. It was an academy of mystics, saints, and philosophers of Lingayata faith and acted as a fountainhead of thoughts and common human values and ethics. Anubhava Mantapa was presided over by another great mystic, Allama Prabhu. It also had numerous sharanas, people from lower strata of society as participants. In spite of being powerful minister in royal court, Basavanna himself joined as a participant in Anubhava Mantapa. Hundreds of men and women regularly met and exchanged their experiences and reflections, and they were recorded by Vachana Bhandari Shantarasa. Those reflections were in the form of short poems named as Vachana, means sayings in local language that is Kannada. These vachanas reflect the thought of sharanas and became the foundation for new way of life, that is Lingayatism, conceptualized by Basavanna. They are, all vachanas are storehouses of spiritual wisdom and righteous living. They led people for sublime thinking noble action and pleasant expressions. Anubhava Mantapa is compared to 
today's parliament with a freedom of speech and thoughts which the participants had in anubhava mantapa basavanna succeeded in building casteless classless and gender free society congregation of sharanas imbibed and disseminated his doctrines through living them basavanna used religious revolution to bring social revolution it was necessary to give rational touch to the religion to bring social reform worship of different gods had divided the people into different groups he advocated that the formless ultimate power who is responsible for creation and sustenance of the universe is god he gave the concept of ishtalinga which was symbol of that ultimate power which people could wear on them and worship on their own without any priest in one of his vachanas he says it is in kannada tannashreyada rati sukhavanna tanumba utavanna bere mattobara kayalli maadisabahude tanna lingakke maaduva nitya neemava ta maadabekallade bere mattobara kayalli maadisabode kemmane upacharakke maaduvarallade nimma netta vallaru kudala sangama deva it means union with union with own wife and eating one's own food can you ask someone else to do it for you linga should be worshiped by you and not others how such people can understand you who do this for mere formality he asks kudala sangama deva his concept of worshiping ishtalinga saved people from getting exploited by priestly class he discarded the temple culture which supported the exploitation of people in another vachana he says just now sujata uh, recited it ullavaru shivalaya maadiharu nanenu maadalli badavanayya enna kale kamba dehave degula shirave honna kalashavayya ಕೂಡಲ ಸಂಗಮ ದೇವ ಕೇಳಯ್ಯ ಸ್ಥಾವರ ಕಳೆಗುಂಟು ಜಂಗಮ ಕಳವಿಲ್ಲ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ದಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಟ್ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಶಿವ ಐ ಆಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಪುವರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಕೆನ್ ಐ ಡೂ ಮೈ ಲೆಗ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪಿಲರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಮೈ ಹೆಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಡೋಮ್ ಓವರ್ ಹಿಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾಟಿಕ್ ಬಿಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಮೇ ಡಿಟಿಯೋರೇಟ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಬಟ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ವಿತ್ ಸೋಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಗಾಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಜಂಗಮ is more stable so this method of self realization through ishtalinga attracted shudras as they were not allowed to enter temple in those days they could wear linga and become lingayata linga helped in eradication in eradicating caste system and also gave them an opportunity to realize god through ishtalinga and practice spirituality for basavanna compassion was root of religion in one of his vachanas he asks daya villada dharma yav daya what sort what sort of religion is it without any compassion people from different strata of society embraced this new faith and basavanna accepted all of them so he writes ಇವನಾರವ ಇವನಾರವ ಎಂದೆಣಿಸದಿರಯ್ಯ ಇವ ನಮ್ಮವ ಇವ ನಂಬ ನಮ್ಮವ ಎಂದೆಣಿಸಿರಯ್ಯ ಸೊ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಹಿ ಸೇ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಅವರ್ಸ್ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಓನ್ ಸನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕ್ಲೋಸೆಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಫ್ರೀಡಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೈಟ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಆಫ್ ಗಾಡ್ who came to basavanna became sharanas all sharanas were equal irrespective of their previous caste that brought social equality and solved the problem of untouchability he introduced kayaka through spiritualization 
of work if he if we work for living it is profession but if we do it honestly as a worship of god it becomes kayaka he declared kayaka as kailasa that is heaven where shiva dwells money or income earned by kayaka should not be used for one's own self only it should be spent for guru lingama jan linga and jangama who represent god and such offerings was called dasoha money or income in any form was earned through kayaka and spent through dasoha so any form of wealth was not accumulated this principle of kayaka and dasoha became spiritualized socialism basavanna himself practiced it and became model for others nobody was rich and nobody was poor it led to economical reforms where economical equi- equality was established in one uh, vachana of basavanna we get this message kaage vandagala kandade kariyade tanna balagavanu poli vandu kutuku kandade hoogi kariyade tanna kulavel kulanellava shiva bhaktanagi bhakti paksha vill paksha villadiddade kaage koli inda kare kashta koodala sangama deva will not a crow call its folk when it sees a green of food will not a hen call its brood when it finds a morsel being a devotee of shiva if one has no faith in devotion he is worse than crow or hen so here dasoha is a part of devotion in the concept of kayaka there is no difference as dignified kayaka and undignified kayaka all kayakas are equal this was idea of equality based on kayaka another great contribution of basavanna is women empowerment as we know women were considered maya and shudra in the vedic tradition basavanna opposed this according to him identify uh, we identify gender um, as male and female only through external characters one of basavanna's follower jedara dasimaya states in one of his vachanas as follows gadda mise bandare gandembaru mole jade moodi bandare hennembaru olage suliva atmanu gandu alla hennu alla ramanatha dehada drushtiyinda ಸ್ತ್ರೀ ಪುರುಷರು ಆತ್ಮನ ದೃಷ್ಟಿಯಿಂದ ಅಮೃತಾನಂದರು ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ದ ಒನ್ ವಿತ್ ಬಿಯರ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮುಸ್ಟಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೇಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಹೇರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಿಮೇಲ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ಸೋಲ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಇಸ್ ನೈದರ್ ಮೇಲ್ ನಾರ್ ಫಿಮೇಲ್ ಬಸವಣ್ಣ ಗೇವ್ ಲಿಂಗ ದೀಕ್ಷಾ ಇವನ್ ಟು ವಿಮೆನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡೆಡ್ an opportunity for development for their personality through spiritual practice which was denied to them in the vedic hinduism women were given an equal status in society in anubhava mantapa both men and women participated in spiritual discussion including basavanna's sister nagamma his both wives gangambika and nilambika another notable personality in anubhava mantapa was akka mahadevi sule sankava who was a prostitute by profession got influenced by basavanna she left the profession and became sharani and wrote vachanas woman was considered maya and they thought she will obstacle on the way of spiritual practices of men so they thought 
she should be kept in control. This was condemned by Basavanna. According to him, woman is not my, but man's desire for her is my. We have to control something. If we have to control something, that is a desire. It should be controlled. In one of Allama Prabhu's vachanas, we can see the reflection of these thoughts. He states, they say that money is my, money is not my. They say that woman is my, woman is not my. They say land is my, but land is not my. Our desires for these is my, O Guheshwara. So Basavanna gave an equal status to women in all walks of life on a par with man. They participated in the discussions held at Anubhava Mantapa. The experienced, they experienced the spiritual heights and they could share their mystic experiences in the form of Vachana. Akka Mahadevi could achieve unparalleled spiritual height at very young age only because of such liberal attitude towards women. Basavanna believed in a sansara yoga. He said there is no need to take sannyasa and renounce worldly life for the state of spiritual practice. It is possible while leading the worldly life. Sannyasa, sannyasa is escapism or it is an escapist tendency to face life. In his vachana, he says, Martra loka vembudu kartarana kamatavaya illi saluvaru aliyu saluvaru illi saladavaru aliyu salaru kudala sangama deva. It means world is workshop of maker. One who is accepted in this worldly life is also accepted in a spiritual life. According to him, word is not my, which should be renounced. Life is real and it is prasada, or gift of God. Any experience, good or bad, should be accepted as prasada. That is life, or jivana. It can be considered as a blessed life. Human body is also a gift of life. It should not be punished to please the God. So, Baswana did not believe in brahmacharya and some practices like upvasa, where people have to starve to please God. He did not believe in the heaven and hell. He said, heaven and hell do not exist elsewhere. They are in our thoughts and behaviors. Our character decides what is heaven and what is hell. So he says, Deva loka, martra loka, vembudu, perilla, kaniro, satyava nudivude, deva loka, mithyava nudivude, martra loka, acharave swarga, anacharave naraka. Shiva, uh, Shiva bhakta nidda, nidda re deva loka, bhaktana angalave, varanasi, kayakave, kailasa, idu satya, kudala sangama deva, nine, pramana. Word of gods and the world of mortals are not different. If you speak truth, it is word of gods or heaven. If you speak untruth, it is word of mortals. Good conduct is heaven and bad conduct is hell. Place where Shiva Bhakta resides is a word of God and it is called as Varanasi. And where he works is a Kailasa, where Shiva resides. In this way, he rejected all meaningless rituals in the name of religion. He criticized such practices in his vachanas. One of his vachanas says, Neera kandalli muluvaraya, mara kandalli sutvaraya, battuva jalava vanaguva marava mechidavaru, nipa netta vallaru, udala sangamadeva. The meaning is, 
people take bath in any flowing water or still water to wash out their sins they worship trees thinking that they will bless them who believe in water and tree will never be able to understand the true devotion so he tried to eradicate all types of blind beliefs which led to exploitation of common people he condemned the practice of looking for auspicious day time week date and star for undertaking any work he said do not say this day or other day today is the day for one you bow to the shiva and say today is the day god is greater than stars so in the same way, uh, way he condemns the fixing of marriage on the basis of horoscope which still we do even being a educated people we depend on horoscopes when we decide the marriages he says em avaru besagondare shubha lagna venniraiya rashi kuta runa sambandha untendu heliraiya chandra bala tara bala untendu heliraiya naale dina kendina dina lesendu heliraiya kudala sangama devana poojista phala nimmadaiya when there is mutual consent say that combination of zodiac is good divine sanctions are there say that the positions of moon and stars are favorable say that today is better than tomorrow fruit of worshiping kudala sangama deva will protect you all some of vachanas written by basavanna reflect his thoughts about social equality he rejected the caste system based on professions of people in one of his vachanas he says koluvane koluvavane madiga halasu timbuvane phaleya kulaveno avandira kulaveno sakala jeevaatmarige lesane bayasova namma koodala sangana sharanare kulacharu according to this who kills and who eats dirt they belong to so called low caste and who cares for all the living beings and live like true sharana belongs to upper caste in true sense in another vachana he says nela vande holageri shivalayakke jala vande saucha chamanakke kula vande tanna taanu aridavange phala vande shad darushana muktige nilu vande koodala sangama deva nimma naridavange lower caste people called holaya had to live in separate areas outside village called as holageri as they washed the dirt of people in this vachana he says the earth or the land where these lower caste people live or holageri and the land where temples are built are same and the water used for toilet and the water used for worship the god are same so if you understand this and have self realization you understand that all human beings belong to one caste you don't have to visit many gods for salvation if you understand kudala sangama your attitude will change uh in another vachana uh he say he expresses his stern stand against discrimination dasi putra nagali vaishya putra nagali shiva deeksha yada balika sakshat shiva nendu vandisi poojisi padodaka prasadava kombude yogya higallade udasina maadi biduvavarige pancha ma ಆತಕ ನರಕ ಕಾಣ ಕೂಡಲ್ ಸಂಗಮ ದೇವ ದಿಸ್ ವಚನ ಕಂಡೆಮ್ಸ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನಿ ಟೈಪ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಡಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಶಿವದೀಕ್ಷಾ ಹಿ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಹೋಲಿ ಡೆವೋಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಗಾಡ್ ನೋ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ವೆದರ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಲೇವ್ ಆರ್ ಸನ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಾಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರಿಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್
he is on par with god himself any disrespect to such devotee is bound to have disastrous consequences which will land us in hell basavanna was a great leader among various leadership qualities empathy is one such attribute which has potential to transform people of wicked nature into man of virtues and humanity basavanna empathetic approach in the society turned several thieves into devotees prostitutes became dedicated devotees basavanna had a rich legacy he was a brahmin by birth he occupied highest position of prime minister in the court of bijala but he wanted to become one among the destitutes and poor to experience the agonies of such people one of his vachana shows heights of his empathy it goes like this chennayana maneya dasana magalu kakkanai kakkayana maneya dasiya magalu ivaribbaru holadali beranike hogi sangava madidaru ivaribbarige huttida maganano kudala sangama deva sakshi he compared himself to a illicit son born to a girl and boy whose parents were servants in the homes of chennayya who was a tanner and kakkayya who was a cobbler both chennayya and kakkayya were considered dalits and boy and the girl mentioned here were son and daughter of servants of dalits they went to fields for collection of dried cow dung pellets and got attracted to each other and had a child lord basavanna equated himself to such a kid and said that it was not a mistake of such kids to take birth it was his unique way of stepping into the shoes of sufferers to experience their agonies such empathy brought him very near to the people he gave some simple code of conduct for the blissful life in the form of vachanas some vachanas i would like to quote one is kala beda kala beda kusiya nudiyalu beda muniya beda annarige asayya pada beda tanna bannisa beda idira haliyalu beda ide antaranga shuddhi ide bahiranga shuddhi ide namma kudala sangama devara nalisuva pari so here he gives seven qualities which we have to develop so he says don't steal don't kill don't lie don't be angry don't hate others don't praise thyself don't criticize others this will lead to internal purity and external purity and this is the only way to please god how simple but we find it very difficult again he says lokada donku nive kittiduviri nimma nimma tanuva santaisikolli nimma nimma manava santaisikolli nere maneyavara dukkakke aluvavara mechana kudala sangama deva why you want to find faults in others and correct them clean the impurities of your own body and mind god doesn't appreciate the people who try to interfere in others life it simply says mind your own business and understand your own faults rather than finding faults in others so in this way he gives a way of life we have got some main slogans like arive guru and kayak kayakave kailasa which are the main slogans of lingayatism which basavanna has given means arive guru means our knowledge is our guru one who gets knowledge or self realization he will raise to the state of guru 
that will remove the discrimination between guru and shishya this gives another dimension to the meaning of equality we say work is worship but basavanna gave a different dimension to kayaka and raised it till the but still higher than worship he said kayaka is kailasa where shiva dwells kayaka helps us to reach god in this way essence of basavanna's teachings crossed the border of karnataka and india many dignitaries have appreciated his contributions to the social religious and economical reforms reverend mc sergeant says basava's aim was not to oppose or propose any religious philosophical system but to show people the existing social and religious evils and if possible to remove these evils from the society uh, in the book land of lingams written by sir arthur miles in 1933 he writes whatever the legend may say about basava it is pretty clear that he is the first thinker of india he might be called luther of india a, a honorable speaker of british parliament admits it is amazing that extraordinary and Uh, extraordinary that basaveshwara professed exposed and campaigned and advocated genuine democracy human rights gender equality way back in 12th century even before anyone in united kingdom had ever thought about it so in the same way in india many dignitaries recognize his contributions at belgam session of indian national congress in 1924 mahatma gandhi ji spoke about basavanna he says it has not been possible for me to practice all percepts of basaveshwara which he taught 800 years ago and which he also practiced had he lived during our times he would have been a saint worthy of worship basavanna's contributions have been recognized in india as well as outside the country country feels very proud about him we have a statue of basaveshwara in the parliament of india honorable president abdul kalam inaugurated the statue on 28th april 2003 basavanna is first kannadiga in whose honor coin has been minted in recognition of his social reform our honorable prime minister narendra modi inaugurated a statue of basavanna along the bank of river thames uh, in london on 14th november 2015 such recognitions help to create awareness among people evoke curiosity to more about basava philosophy people have adorned him with many titles jagajyoti basaveshwara jagajyoti means enlightened who enlightened the whole world kranti yogi basavanna who brought revolution in the country bhakti bhandari basavanna because basavanna is considered as a treasure of devotion maha manavata vadi basavanna because he was a great humanist so basavanna is proper popularly known as basavanna or he is addressed as anna because we consider him as a brother elder brother as he is a symbol of universal brotherhood even after 900 years of preaching of basavanna they have not lost their relevancy even today 
they are guidelines of blissful life we can find solutions for our problems of life in his writings it is very essential to create this awareness among young generations because we are in our 21st century but still we don't see 100% equality in the society in india we have some temples who prohibit the entry of women the casteism is not eradicated completely therefore it is very essential to create this awareness among the young generation we have thousands of basava followers but instead of worshiping the idol or photo of basavanna and singing vachanas if we try to understand his philosophy and implement it in our life we can create the society which basavanna had visualized and that would be true tribute to the great social reformer with this i would like to conclude my talk once again i thank the organizers for giving me this opportunity to talk about basavanna who is very close to my heart being from science background i don't accept anything which is not rational and which is not logical and it is very difficult to talk about in which we don't believe i feel very happy to talk about basavanna i would like to thank dr shashikant pattan sir uh, who introduced me to this group and i want to thank all the participants for their patient listening Th and also thanks to the technology which made it possible to connect with you all from belgium in spite of uh, removing the barrier of the distance thank you one and all thank you thank you ma'am uh, that was very um, enlightening uh, session um, i myself uh, was not aware of uh, basavanna's journey and and the work that he did uh, but last few days i have been you know looking into it and and knowing from you all you know everything that he has done for the society is just um, it, it's just very uh, you know um, enlightening uh, it was very you know not full of you know knowledge uh, session i would say um now i would like to open the podium for uh, people who might want to ask some questions um they must have uh, you know have been read about it or uh, whatever you have uh, said um and if if anybody has any questions please feel free to um, um go ahead and type it in the chat or just raise your hand so we can um you know get them to ma'am Sujata, there are three hands. Pradeep, uh, Sujata, Roy, and Sanjay. There are question, three. Roy Mantina. Okay, I can ask a question. Yeah. Can I go, Sujata? Yes. Yeah. Um. Thank you. Um. Thank you very much, uh, Rajan Dagar. It's an extraordinary presentation. Uh. Just looking at the history, uh, looking at uh, how the movements were run, these rituals, uh, these beliefs are used. for uniting people to come together and our struggle for social justice our struggle for dignity and respect is also an extension of our freedom struggle so how we can use these great leaders reformers uh, to unify our masses across the globe can you please share a couple of your thoughts how we can use these you know these legends uh, to bring our people together yes sir uh, because when we look at uh, the preachings of basavanna he always tried to unify the people and whatever efforts he has done it was to bring the equality and because um, all these things you know they divide the people but when all people are equal then naturally they will be united so if the awareness is created among the people about basavanna i hope that will uh, give some solutions uh, for the to eradicate all these divisions all these discriminations so that we can unite all the people when they come on the same platform 
uh, they feel united that's uh, my um, opinion thank you very much yeah i like that word equality treat everybody equal regardless of who they are thank you uh anyone else next question we can go to yeah, next uh, uh, can i go yeah or uh, pradeep also raised uh, hand first so i i will let pradeep go first uh, pradeep okay sanjay sir yeah. uh, uh thank you very much for a wonderful talk i actually never knew about basavana but uh, i just was going to um some of uh, online to wikipedia and uh, i found out that yeah he he was not the same practices like a ritual but he he was really working on his mind and soul and completely taking a spiritual path and uh, he embraced the principle so the spiritual path is a, a personal journey but when we come together as a community or in the society the most important principles that we uh, embrace are like non violence and compassion which ambedkar talks about so the ambedkar movement is completely based on non violence and compassion these are the principles and i think that's why we come together as a society uh, so i just have one question so uh, as as you mentioned that uh, basavana and his teachings were uh, uh, to fight against social discrimination he was a social reformer so what is his legacy now how they are operating today uh, as, with their spiritual path what 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 activities they do for social reform uh So, sorry sir uh, i i couldn't hear uh, your voice oh okay can i repeat yes sir only question you can repeat yes yeah, so my question is uh, uh, how how this uh, uh, basavana teachings are working today how this uh, is there a legacy the followers of basavana how do they op- operate today do they just work on the spiritual path or do they have acti- they do they do activities for social reform what are what are they doing today for social reform yes sir uh, actually what has happened is with the time uh, people have forgotten about the real preaching of uh, basavanna and they follow they call themselves as a basavanna's followers but still they practice some old uh, methods old rituals uh, so that's what uh, i told at, at the end of the speech ki instead of following simply saying ki we are the followers if they understand exactly what basavanna has preached and follow the same methodology or same uh, uh, way of life uh, i think that will be better but now is recently the awareness has uh, increased and uh, people are coming into groups and trying to follow a real uh, basavas philosophy and trying to uh, bring the same lifestyle which he has means uh, the they are trying to create um, the same type of uh, lifestyle or the same type of a society without any discrimination without any uh, religious rituals meaningless rituals so that is um, they are trying to do it so uh, more and more awareness should be created for that Uh, we have a group uh, which is called as akkana rivu in uh, uh, india uh, so uh, they are doing a lot of work do a lot of activities to bring in such awareness among the people thank you very much okay sujata i can go next yeah, yeah sanjay sir you can go okay, yeah thank you uh, rajananda madam uh, thank you very much uh, for uh, uh, being our guest at the ambedkar lecture series of boston study group so this is i believe around 68 lecture uh, we conduct under the ambedkar lecture series very informative uh, very enlightening as uh, sujatha said uh, most of us were not aware of uh, the great work uh, basavanna has done and uh, it is very good to know the various social reformers uh, which contributed for any type of discrimination whether social uh, caste or even the race based so Uh, thank you very much uh, for uh, being here uh, i have two questions yes so when you were telling about all the teaching of the basavanna ji um, many of us the, from the boston study group also uh, practice the buddhism so when you were telling about this uh, basavanna's teaching and all this means we were just 
thinking that we are just listening to what Buddha has taught. Means so much similarity in um, the teaching of Basmanaji and the Buddha. So, is there any study has been done to uh, find out uh, what are the commonality between the teaching of Buddha and uh, um, Basmana, and uh, whether there is any any type of uh, differences between their teaching? That is one thing. And another thing is a, a little bit uh, uh, in the political in the nature. Um, I understand this, uh, that um, the followers of the Basvanna is basically are in the Lingayat community. That is correct. So, uh, yes, yeah. So if that is the case, whether uh, the political affiliations of the followers of the Basvanna reflects their teaching, um, that is uh, another question I would like. Okay. Uh, sir, let me come to the first question. Uh, you said um, uh, the difference between or the comparison between Buddha, Baswa and uh, uh, actually uh, whenever we refer to equality, we refer to Buddha, Baswa and Ambedkar together because we can see a lot of similarities between these three, um, uh, their preachings or what uh, we can say, their thought process or whatever changes they have brought in the society. Therefore, uh, there are a lot of studies in uh, comparing Buddha, Baswa and Ambedkar. So, um, I, at present, I cannot quote you, but uh, I think uh, there are a lot of studies who have done. Uh, Dr. Shashikant Patan uh, should be able to tell about if any particular uh, study is there or anybody has done any study on that. And uh, second one is the, the Lingayat community. Uh, there is a lot of uh, confusion about this. Because uh, as I told you, uh, they call themselves as a Lingayats, but uh, they follow some old uh, rituals. Uh, so, uh, and uh, at present, uh, there is a uh, call uh, to consider it as an independent dharma, Lingayat dharma, so that um, uh, the, it, it should get some recognition as independent. Because uh, when you look at the preachings and when, when you look at the characteristics of uh, this um, Lingayatism, uh, it has got all the qualities which independent dharma has. So uh, there is a need or there, there, there is a call to consider it as an independent dharma. Uh, I will have uh, the follow-up question on this, but I would like to listen from uh, uh, Dr. Shishikant. Uh, so uh, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity. I think uh, Dr. Professor Rajendra Gargi has cleared more of things. And uh, your question that Basavanda is exact the dream of what Lord Buddha said. Dhammam, here we call as Jangama. The social concept of Buddha and Basavanda are all are similar. And Basavanda came after 1700 years after Buddha. And uh, the, the similarities are the uh, Buddha and Basavanda advocated for the true democracy, who for the upliftment of the uh, suppressed class, downtrodden people and uh, to bring the equality in every every sect of a life. So I can say Basavarna was a journey of a Buddha's uh, spiritual life. He's a dream. He's a, he's a you can say the, the spark which has ignited in 1700 uh, years before Basavarna has become a mashal during 12th century who had brought the equality in every aspect. So I had got a book of Buddha and Basava written by Tapavana Kumar Swamiji, which was book was read by even uh, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru in India. It is such a good book that the similarities he compares and what are the differences? What were the differences? Why Buddhism was driven away from India in the 10th century? Why this Vedic or Brahmical colony or why this priest class people drive away this Buddhism and they uh, completely they, uh, uh, destroyed the practice of Jainism and the same thing they did for uh, Lingayatism. It was totally hijacked, I can, I can say, the Brahmical society or the priest class people or a Vedic culture of India has hijacked uh, Lingayat religion in order to incorporate their uh, practices. Again, the old ritual, like Linga, what Basavarna says, Linga is a universe. The one who accepts the Linga is Linga Ayata. Ayata is exception. The one who has commitment for the whole universe, whole life, whole uh, evolution of an earth, is a Lingayata, but these people again uh, kept a monument as a Linga, Ustalinga. 
Basavanna was also uh, logically was against the idol worship. He was the one who could find the God within himself. Uh, he, he, in one of the vachanas of Allama, the Allama is derived from Allah and Lama. Allah, the entry of Muslims in the form of Allah. Allah. Allama, there is one sharana. The entry of Allah, the entry of Muslims in the form of Allah, the exit of Buddhism in the form of Lama. Lamas were driven away to China, Singapore, Cambodia in the 10th century. I think you all know that Vedic people, I don't want to take the names of the Acharyas who have driven away the Buddhism from India. Otherwise, Buddhism would have, if Buddhism would have been successful in India, there was no role of Basavanna to recapture, to, re, to fight for the equality. So in, so in that way, but there was again the Hinayana and Mahayana in Buddhism. There was a big clash between the Hinayana and Mahayana. And uh, m- many other rituals also came. The Panchatantra and that there was an idol worship. There are so many things which came. Whereas Basavanna is totally preached or is in the sense, he totally advocated for the sublimation. Sublimation uh, is, a, is something like it's a, like a baby seeing a dream and smiling in the cradle. Uh, baby of a two years, three years, you see, it, it witnesses, it sees the dream, it smells and enjoys, but it is unable to express. In the same way, the mystic experiences which Bhakta or the devotee or the disciple uh, and, and the master of his own. Basavanna saw, ta- uh, showed the God within the person, thyself. You see God within yourself. This is what Basavanna has told. And uh, uh, most of the thing, Buddha, Sharanam, Gachami, Sangam Sharanam Gachami. The word Sharana, the Buddha, what Buddha was advocating, Buddha Sharanam Gachami, the Payana. But very unfortunately in India and anywhere, the Buddhist lost their uh, this one identity because they were crazed for the chanting of Sanskrit mantras in uh, India and the other side by glorifying the Buddha Namavali in Sanskrit. But we, we, he was against to, Buddha was against to that. He advocated for Pali language. In the same way, Basavanna advocated in the Kannada language, in the Kannada language, in the Desi language. The people who were suppressed, who were downtrodden, they had, and uh, they actually uh, supported and uh, advocated for those people, for the human rights and democracy. And these are the similarities. But I can say there are two faces of the same coin, or Buddha's journey of the Basavanna. That much I can say. Thank you very much for giving an opportunity. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Dr. Shashikanji. It was very nice uh, explanation. Thank you very and much. And one more thing before I complete, I just I want to tell you. The influence of Basavanna, I was talking to the Badada Sahib. There was a huge influence of Basavanna on Baba Sahib Ambedkar. Uh, if you see the Eula Declaration in Maharashtra and Pat, uh, in Pune, Pat, and the annihilation of caste system, the Ambedkar Sahib, Baba Sahib Ambedkar was not introduced by Basavanna because the literature came in 1926. In 1935, the Eula, he said that I don't want to, I, was, I am born as a Hindu, but I will not die as a Hindu. So he declares that I want to take up the other religion other than the Hindu. And after 20 years, he took uh, uh, Buddhism. In 1956, he was he met with the Education and Law Minister Siddhartha Kambli, who gave the principles of Basavanna in English. He was highly influenced. In 1954 to 56, all the Amendment Act, which Baba Sahib Ambedkar constituted in the Constitution, Amendment Act, that he said the Lingayat is an independent religion. It is a, it has what is own identity. Not only that, he said. Sahib to be Ku Usil Kirile, Adi to me Dile Astil me Linga Dharm Swikar Karnarote. This was the words written by written by Ambedkar Baba Sai. Mala Ku Usil Dile to be. Like people like you are not aware of uh, Basavarna. In the same way, because people, I think, in 1950 also, when he gave uh, uh, literature in English about Basavarna, he said you have pocketed Basavarna in, in the form of book. You did not release Basavarna to the rest of the world. Otherwise, he would have been the champion and the leader of the world, what Baba Sai said. So these are the documented, sir, what I say. And in the Ambedkar's uh, book, in the 14th chapter, he has completely explained about what Basavanna has told. And he has compared Buddha and Basavanna. And he advocates that he admires the Basavanna's creativity, revolution. But in my view, they are both are the equality, the two eyes are the same equality. What we need to find, and we should go in hand in hand. Thank you for giving me an opportunity, sir. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So, Sujata, I have the follow-up question, but uh, since I see there are two hands raised, uh, I, I will uh, keep it for the end. Yeah, thank you, sir. Um, that was very, uh, very enlightening, actually, very knowledgeable, uh, you know, words uh, from sir. Um, 
any more questions um, that I, I see question in the chat. Can someone read out the question? Vishal has raised the hand. Okay. Sh should I ask the question? Yeah. Go ahead. Yes. Okay. Uh, thank you, Rajanda ma'am and uh, Shashikan sir both. Uh, it was very, very informative. I have a very simple question. Like, uh, could you please suggest uh, a few books uh, where we can learn a basic teachings of uh, Maswanna, like original teachings. And you are on mute, Shashikan sir. So sure, I'll send. The, I'll, I'll make an arrangement. I'll talk to the other side. Okay. I'll send the books. Definitely, I'll send the books. There are many dust big Baswana. There are many books on Baswana in English, and mm -hmm. Buddha and Baswa also comparison books are so there. We will send it, and we are publishing from our Akkar Arivu. What we are conducting every Saturday and Sunday, we are mm -hmm. conducting Google Meet, and more than 250 people will participate in that. Every week we get a people resource person from the various universities and institution which mm -hmm. highlight both Buddha and Baswana. Our journey is Buddha, Baswa, Ambedkar, Shahu Maharaj, Pule, and Mahatma Gandhi. They were the one who uh, took a mankind further in the true sense and true path. I'll okay. certainly send the books. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sujata Dada Sahib has raised the hand. Yeah, before uh, my question, there is a question in chat. I will read that question so that uh, because that was before me raising hand. So this uh, yeah. uh, Professor Gargi, uh, this is question from Surup Thul. The question is, is Baswana community, in Lingayat community, is also hijacked by Brahminism? So I think I explained this. It is not hijacked, but they tried to disrupt. It is hijacked in the other form of uh, uh, in India also. In the Lingayat region, so the prefects, the priest people entered because it is a uh, religion, classless, casteless, and no gender with having a gender equality a non-institutional religion. There is no need of a mosque, mandir, masjid, bayar, basadi or anything, or gurdwar. Bhakta Nangadvi Varanashi. If you consider the own, Bhakta is the owner of the uh, religion. But as you said, in India, all religions like Jainism, Buddhism, Sikhism, Lingayatism, the all religions were not hijacked in the sense. They, they did not do anything. They just disrupted, interfered, I can say. Disrupted the true practices the true uh, well-being, the true practices of the respect to religions. Can I ask one more question? Yes, go ahead, please. Yeah. Uh, uh, what is the ma'am's view on this, whether it's hijacked by Brahmanism or not? Uh, I don't think uh, anybody can hijack Lingayatism because it has got a very strong uh, foundation. And uh, as Sir told, they may influence because we can see even the people uh, who follow this Lingayat uh, religion or what, Lingayatism, uh, they also follow certain uh, rituals which are practiced by uh, other Vedic uh, Dharma. Uh, but uh, I don't think so. It can be. I, we can't use that word hijack because nobody can uh, hijack Lingayatism because it has got a very strong foundation of uh, preachings of Baswana. That is my opinion. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> my uh, question is a little bit different. It's uh, it's about the population, like. Uh, do you guys know how many people are currently following uh, like Lingayat religion in terms of percentage and can you... Sir, we, sir, I'll answer this question. In India, around <laughs> 4, 4, 4.9 to 5.6 crores of people are residing, especially in Maharashtra, Karnataka, Andhra, okay. Tamil Nadu, Kerala. Okay. This is a population. And uh, as you know, when uh, Ambedkar, Sai, Baba Sai Ambedkar and Nidhilingappa were the strong rebel to uh, Nehru, he had a very fear that this is a federal country, they may separate it out Lingayat religion, so they didn't want Lingayat as a separate identity. Mm -hmm. But it was too late when Baba Sahib had planned to make it as an uh, uh, independent religion. As you all know, in the first very first election, he was defeated in Mumbai. Later mm -hmm. on again, he was elected to Rajya Sabha member. The mm -hmm. population is around 6 crores in India. It is not less, it is bigger than the any Minority after Muslims. Yeah, okay. 
And uh, can you also elaborate a little bit about the political representation of uh, Lingayat community in whether Lok Sabha or maybe some Vidhan Sabha? Exactly. Very good. Around 15 Lok Sabha members are there. In uh, one, uh, one is the Maharashtra. Mm -hmm. we, we have one Maharashtra and one in uh, Andhra. Mm -hmm. We have uh, local MPs. And 15 from Karnataka. We have 15. So all together there are 17 Lingayat MPs and mm -hmm. more than 125 MLAs in uh, Karnataka. Are Lingayats, you can call it as a majority, but mm -hmm. are different parties. And okay. in Maharashtra, we have around 15 MLS. In Andhra, we have got seven MLS, Tirupati and other aspects. Tamil Nadu, we have got three, and Kerala, we have got one. Okay. That's, that's, that's great. So, and may I ask follow up questions, Sujata? Do we have time for that? Uh, yeah, I can take one more. <laughs> yeah, okay. Go ahead. One and more question, uh, can you please elaborate a little bit on what kind of uh, legislative efforts these MLAs and MPs are taking to spread to teachings of Baswanna? Sir, as you know that the political system of India that mm -hmm. is not as clean as as transparent as you can find in the Western countries. Okay. And uh, they have got the vested interest and they don't want Baswa philosophy or Buddha Buddhism to come into practice because they have to be honest. And as you know that political, if the politicians are honest, they cannot win. Okay. So they don't want the principles of Baswanna or Buddha to be practiced in India. Okay. <laughs> so they, they don't want even to get the religious recognition for Lingayat religion or to get mm -hmm. the even minority status. Whereas even Buddhist, we I had attended Buddhist monk at uh, this one uh, conference at uh, Mumbai. They are just as uh, someone you said, Brahmanical society for their purpose and for their vested interest to exploit the whole rest of the India. The people who are 3% of the total population of the country are really 97%. And dividing amongst uh, ourselves, and uh, the same principles. What uh, they are actually, they are not from. We have what uh, we can call it. We all Buddhists and Lingayats are from Dravidian culture, whereas these people are the Aryans, and uh, they have got. They, I, I just want to tell you the facts, and they don't. They want to. The means of living is the exploitation, and uh, they are doing it. But uh, our legislators and parliamentarians are. I, I not hardly hardly ten percent of the legislators and parliamentarians are interested to. Preach and listen. They don't want uh, because because they don't worship the idol. They don't go for the corruption. means not even a single grain amongst the food. If you, I don't want to have a thread among the towel or a cloth. Not even a microgram of a good I want. If I ask for today and tomorrow, let God punish me. This is what Baswana says. But whether these people have got a hundred crores, thousand crores of the property. They for they all are hypocrites. I do, I would cannot expect from that. At least what we need our public, our uh, disciples and Buddha and Baswa followers, especially Buddha, Baswa and Ambedkar followers, has to take up all these three people, and we have to go hand in hand. This is what my personal request. So thank you. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, Sujata, uh, Dada Sahib has raised the hand. If you cannot see it, uh, Dada Sahib, yes, please go ahead. Uh, thank you so much. Actually, I was this was a very interesting discussion, so I was listening. So I asked myself, <clears throat> and uh, th thank you, Dr. Patan, for bringing that um, very interesting perspective. And as we discussed, this is like the the follow up discussion should be because this is very new concept for even Ambedkar and Ambedkar Buddhist community, like finding similarities between Baswana and Dr. Ambedkar and Buddha. So follow up discussion or lecture should be comparison or like finding similarities between these ideologies so it will be interesting for our audience as well as uh, like movement together collaborating for annihilation of caste and annihilation of inequities in india and across the globe so this is my like perspective we can go ahead with that so uh, my my question for both of you dr gargi professor gargi and dr patan is um, although like you said like uh, as dr ambedkar in his counter revolution and counter revolution says like the Indian Indian history is nothing but, but uh, fight between Buddhism and uh, Brahminism. So as you said, I do explain the same thing. So uh, along with all these things, the focal the focal point of all these things is caste in India. Did it be Lingai, did it be Jain or any other religion? So like for us, for the people or for the community who understood Baswana's uh, ideology and Dr. Ambedkar's and Buddha's ideology, what should be our efforts to uh, annihilate caste or to remove caste within us first and like teach other people how we can annihilate that caste because if that goes 
the vedic or the uh, aryan culture of india or indian subcontinent will vanish automatically because that is the foundation of their uh, division or their inequity or their uh, like spreading their philosophy so how we should work together and how like what are the red flags or what are the flags we should raise within our community and uh, uh, like outside the community to handle it caste so can you please yes, share sir, your ideas? Answer, can i answer can i answer uh, madam can sure, i answer sure. for this question uh, yes sir thank you Okay, okay. Thank yes, you. Yes, and he, okay, yes, okay. Here, we have in Baswana's Vachanas, as you see, the Vachanas are highly percolated with the rational and radical thoughts. They can be called as a Vidroha Sahitya. Mm-hmm. They are against the system. Vidroha Mantletra Bandaya. The Bandukur. Baswana is Bandukur. They had, a, he had a fight. The Hallabol, he used to call, the, he had kept all the, upper, though he was coming from the Brahminical society, he knew all the hypocrisy. He knew all the uh, traits, rituals, and blind beliefs, superstitions, practice, including animal sacrifice and men sacrifice. Also. Men sacrifice. Women were treated as the animals. So he fought against that and he returned to his vachanas and this one. There should be creativeness. The ideologies of that's what I told Baswarna was very much uh, introduced to Ambed Baba Sahib at the later stage of 1950 to 54. And because of that, Baba Sahib Ambedkar included the Indian Succession Act, Hindu Succession Act, Hindu Marriage Act, Hindu Adoption Act. In all these acts, he says this Hindu law is applicable to Muslims, Christians, Buddhists, and also Lingayats. So it indicates Lingayat was also an independent parallel religion, which is non Vedic, which is non Vedic and non Brahminical, non Hindu. So what we need to do, you should have to conduct such sort of discourses and uh, seminars uh, and make a digital books and find out the all ideas. That's, today, we are what we are doing in India, especially in India, is we are taking Buddha, Basveshwara, Pule, Gandhi and Shahu Maharaj. Shahu Maharaj, though he was from Maratha community, but he was the one who fought for this annihilated people, the people who are, a uh, class system was there. And later on, uh, uh, there, he says the recreation of Ambedkar, Baba Sahib Ambedkar, that he should have got Basavanna much before uh, Pat, uh, Puna Pat or uh, declaration in 1935, the Yola declaration. This he says, and it has been documented in his own book. Sir Sahib Manun Ek Bhustak Ahe, Tata Madhitani, he has mentioned, Sahib Tumi Khub Usir Kele, Maja, you should have given me this book much early, at least 20 years before I would have accepted the Yungat religion. It is a way of life. It makes any sense. Buddha, what decision Baba Sahib has taken is 100% right because uh, he was not aware of the other religion, but it is exactly the replications of Buddha we can see in Dhammam, Sangam, Sharanam, all this, Dasoha, Kayaka and Jangama, we call, these are the parallel words which to Buddhism. So Buddhism and um, Lingayatism are brotherhood, I can say. All the principles, 90%, 95% of the this one, they preach. But here, the Uma, the liberty for uh, ladies are being given to become a pontiff, seers. Whereas in Buddhism, in Buddha took 12 years. So there are certain some small, uh, this one, corrections can be made. The food habitat here is pure vegetarian in Lingayat. Buddhism, if you go for Thailand and Singapore, they go for non vegetarian. There are certain things which we, should, we cannot question. But it, it, there, 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 there are not big issues also. But on the contrary, in the whole of the world, Buddhism and Lingayatism, if they are fully practiced, I think none of the religions are required to be advocated for humanity. These are the religions who advocated for the true democracy, gender equality and humanity. So, thank you. May I, may I ask a few more questions if you have time or I can just stop? <laughs> it looks like Vishal is on roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Vishal. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Sujata. If someone else wants to ask, then I can. No, go ahead, Vishal. Okay. Uh, so my question is to both uh, Rajnanda ma'am and uh, Shishikan sir. Uh, could you please elaborate a little bit about the literary movement of, like literature movement of uh, Lingayat? Uh, community who worship Baswana because the reason I'm asking that for Ambedkarite Buddhists we have very strong uh, like a uh, literary movement there are many writers and every year uh, like like almost thousand new books gets published from this community so could you please elaborate about that 
if something same moment happens in in lingayat so, as i told you the vachanas vachanas uh-huh. means the literary written by baba vaswarna and his contemporaries okay. in 12th century very interestingly i want to mention uh-huh. the commentators of magna carta as madam has mentioned john uh-huh. burko speaker of parliament he says it is very interesting and arousing to know that in an extraordinary that vaswarna fought against the uh, uh, discrimination fought for the gender equality fought for the true democracy much before anyone who had ever thought in 12th century in the united kingdom so magna carta came in 13th century where the parliament system architect baba saheb ambedkar himself has mentioned in his book that parliament system was first established in india in the world by basavanna and his contemporaries it has been even documented in the parliament by rajnath singh a very uh, three years back mm-hmm. so and literature as there are many books all university have got basava adhyana peeta basava study circle like ambedkar study circle okay uh, so many universities university have study circle on basavanna i myself coming from the medicinal background but i have written 25 books oh. both in kannada and english i have got a written books many books have been there more than 10000 books we can get about basavanna both in english and kannada and hindi marathi all languages Okay. yeah that's good to know and as like uh, i would say uh, ambedkar and buddhist we usually gather on 6th of december or on dhamma chakra pravartan din so are there any particular days where uh, people gather for to worship baswanna or spread their thoughts uh, that we are not aware of I, we would like to know about yes. those or it are there any it. places like diksha bhumi or chaitya bhumi are there I, any religious places Uh, yes i personally feel uh, basavanna he says uh, one of his vachana mm-hmm. if i die don't make me a statue because the crow will shit on it okay. you can take off peel out the skin from my body and make a chapel and uh, the people mm-hmm. who doesn't have so he is a very radical person very scientific person uh, okay. reason is not to worship you should practice the principles theory ideology of uh, the uh, social reformer mm-hmm. and then they, they didn't want even uh, buddha didn't want himself to declare as a prophet mm-hmm. ambedkar buddha and basavanna they are above prophets they are the social reformer for all the time mm-hmm. all the time it is uh, they are the global truth and uh, messengers who took uh, the humanity who took for the truth mm-hmm. peace and non violence so there uh, it is a need of a time in india and the rest of the world especially those who all are practicing buddhism to also learn lingayatism and where lingayatism they need to know, share the knowledge from buddhism Yeah, yeah, I do agree with you. But uh, are there any specific dates where uh, Lingayat community? Sir, no dates because uh, see, Baswana oh. doesn't believe in any any okay. Buddha. That's what I'm saying. No, no, no. no even uh, the uh, uh, no pontiffs, no sis. Are they guru? Your consciousness is guru. Acharya ve linga. Your action is the ist linga. Anubhava ve jangama. Dhamma, what you call, is the experience, mystic sharing of the experience itself is the jangama. So no specific day. No specific day, sir. thank you thank you yep okay thank you thank you sir uh, are there more questions uh, we can take like we have like two more minutes uh, if we want to have any question otherwise we can wrap it up yes, so sujata if uh, no one have questions i i was talking about the follow up questions correct right? yes uh, so uh, finally it, uh, yeah it is good to <laughs> have <laughs> <laughs> it is good to uh, rajananda madam as well as uh, dr shashikant who ever can answer this one uh, so when i was uh, talking about whether the political affiliation of the people from the lingayat community who follows the baswanna is basically uh, uh, getting corrupted or something like that uh, that is the one and that is when when i was li- listening to what uh, sarup was saying whether brahmanism has hijacked the uh, baswanna movement so in that context uh, because whatever uh, a social unrest we are seeing uh, in india it is starting uh, in most of the thing it is starting from the karnataka uh, to be very fair means and uh, lingayat community is a big part of uh, that uh, ruling party and all this so and that's why my concern is coming whether even if Uh, baswanna ji taught about all this non discrimination and all this whether it is within just the hindu religion we are talking about or with it across the another religion also we are talking about so that is where i'm i'm coming out to whether 
political affiliation take precedence over the teaching of the Baswana, which uh, the Lingayat community is following. Uh, very unfortunately, I, I should say, I'll, I'll just finish in one minute. I'll finish in one minute. The, what you said, political affiliations, most of the Lingayas have converted themselves into the BJP, what I can say, right wing. Uh, we can. It's very unfortunate, very unfortunate, I can say, because of the non-clearance of ideology, because they were influenced by these Hindus, priest class people from 100 years. There was a gap of Basavanda after the revolution in 12th century. The massacre was taken. There are more than 3,000 Sharanas were killed. They were beheaded. Their heads were removed. Because this priest people didn't allow. There were 160 crores of Vachanas. But we got hardly 14,000. They burned into ashes. The Anubha Mantapa was burned into ashes because they didn't want. They didn't want. They didn't want. But there was a gap of 300 years. After 300, 400 years, while transcripting the Vachanas from uh, transcripting the Vachanas, while rewriting the Vachanas, they incorporated the Sanskrit, Vedas, Sanskritas, Pujas, and uh, un very unfortunately, our uh, religious leader practiced the same thing. Again, where, where Basavanda opposed the pontiffs and priests, we have got a Lingayas priest and pontiffs. Basavanda opposed the mat, mat system, what you can call the institution. But very unfortunately, without mat, the religion cannot move. And politici politicians are not educated and they're not aware of this social and religious movement. And as you know, Indian political system is, it is there's no meaning. It is the highest, uh, as Karl Marx has said, that Arajakate, the uncertainty has created. We cannot even raise our vice, I can say. Raising a vice is also a big offense in India. I, I should not uh, tell all these things. But time will come. I think I have a, a hopes, that ray of hope that Buddha and Baswa may lead us with the help of Ambedkar. And you all will shoulder responsibility. And certainly, I, I said, Dada said, in the next session in June or July, I'll talk on this sort of thing, radical thoughts and other, other speakers also. Uh, I can take Baba Sahib Ambedkar. I, take, I want to take Pule the contribution of Shahu Maharaj and Basavanda, the influence of Basavanda on Ambedkar. One, uh, one session I can take in June and July. Very gradually, we can have more questionnaires rather than the speaking also. That will be more helpful to know. As you said, political affiliations will take, but uh, voters are smart enough. We are fighting for our religious uh, recognition and uh, minority status for the central government. Very unfortunately, government has rejected central government, but we are not left. I met Dr. R.K. Nandan, who is a monk, Buddhist monk, I discussed, I've been working in last 10 years for the religious, which is our fundamental right, fundamental right, you see, non-Vedic and non-Hindu culture. And we will definitely be succeeded in the forthcoming days. I think we need the blessings of Buddha and Basava both and support from you all. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Madam, you would like to add anything? Uh, no, sir. As uh, I agree with uh, Dr. Shashikant Patan, because some of the things related to political movements, uh, even I was not aware. So I thank Dr. P Shishkant Patan for uh, giving this awareness to me also. Thank you. Okay, good. Sujata, Vishal has raised uh, hand again. So uh, Vishal, do you want to say something? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Thanks. Uh, so my question is to both uh, Rajanandam ma'am and Shashikant sir. So after Baswanna, uh, were there any other say uh, from the same uh, community came forward and tried to spread uh, their teachings? Yes, sir. sir I, as I said, there was a massacre. Uh -huh. More than three to 4,000 Sharanas were killed. Bhikkhu, what you can call in uh, Buddhist. Okay. Bhikkhu or Bhikkhu. In mm -hmm. India, in uh, Lingayat religion, they called us Sharanas. Mm -hmm. okay. Zangam, Sharanam, Gachami. Sharana Pada word and Jangama Pada, Buddha and Basavanna equally practiced and they have advocated. There, there was a massacre and the whole literature was kept under the ground for 300 to 400 years. It was not practiced because of the fear of the Vedic culture, Vedic threat, I can say. I can, I can say it is a threat. So there were no leaders during that time. But after that, there was Edura Shiddalinga Shivayogi who practiced this, uh, again, recollected the literature of Paswanas and contemporary Vachanas. Took mm -hmm. 700 people. He used to walk all over the country. Uh, he used to stay five days in a city and one day in a village. And the Prouda Devara king in Hampi gave support, financial support, a revenue village were given for this Jangamas who can rewrite uh, preaching and spreading like Ashoka Chakra. Ashoka had given shelter to Buddhism. Little shelter, not much. Little shelter and support was given by Prouda Devara during that kingdom. 
but none of the latter we got a jeevargi shanmukha shivagi but very unfortunately they were not uh, they are not intended to make an institution like uh, monks or a priest but mm-hmm. now the pontiffs have generated which is against the principles of asmat thank you thanks thank you thank you sir thank you sir no no question. more question mr <laughs> one one last question for me uh, <clears throat> thank you sachikant ji so thank you for all the information but uh, you uh, you you are keep mentioning that uh, lingayat uh, dharma is not part of vedic culture and it's not part of uh, but uh, i just like i was just reading about basava but i think he was practicing shaivism so i'm i'm just like interested to know i'm i'm not asking an answer but you can provide a book where i can you know explore this how shaivism practicing shaivism is different from lingayat and how why why was like this vedic struggle like the struggle between vedic and lingayat <clears throat> if you can quickly talk and if you can send some resources that would be nice sir uh as you know that lingayat religion is aimed for the eradication of caste and class and uh, economical equality that is uh, kayaka and dasava we cannot have the the depository it is against to the depository one should not deposit anything revenue or income wealth that is account uh, there was a, a movement i can say but again after uh, 16th century there was a gap of 300 years but by that time this uh, uh, influence of uh, this vedic culture or vedic people or brahminical society they have again brought some practices rituals which have put forcibly in the in the form of veera shaiva veera shaivas are the more highly rituals again yajna yagadi karma same thing they started practicing and uh, now it has been uh, time has come that we have, there will be purification cleansifying has been started and uh, many studies have been started like i have been taking last 3 to 4 years two days saturday and sunday every day every saturday to sunday we take classes uh, one month uh, once in a month we take marathi also Uh, and uh, good response we are getting more than uh, monthly we are getting for 500 to 1000 people are participating in our uh, seminars discourses and we will keep our efforts on we will do it sir it is non vedic because supreme court itself has told hindi it's hindu itself is not a religion it's a way of life supreme court has said hindu is indus sindhu sanskruti the one who lived in the sindhu nadi the one who lived on the bank of sindhu nadi are were called as a hindu Uh, it is a tribal but later on we all were tribes came back to the south of india and uh, this aryan cultures ruled the whole world whole india 3% aryans and uh, they are ruling 97% of the dravidian second say and uh, the, we, our movements our, our agitations are on we hope we will be succeeded in the day to come with change of uh, a whole political scenario in country with the both simultaneous thank you Sadhu, 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 Go ahead, Udayji. Yeah. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think the question was very pertinent in the sense that uh, though Baswana says that we are not really uh, uh, saying anything about a god or something like that, but it is it is our own consciousness that is basically. uh the the main principle that that what is to be worshiped yes the add on of uh, veer shivism brought in the concept of shiva in association with uh, with uh, lingatism i mean this is what yeah, you are saying I, I, you also said the same no, thing no, no, i just wanted to tell it was an adulteration plagiarism was made adulteration incorporation yeah, of some of these <laughs> in the 16th century it, it was intended it was a, there was a, there was a false intention with this vedic culture to bring similar practices were there in the other shaivic sectors and they incorporated right. as i said there was a gap of 400 years from uh, after the revolution of kalyana kranti and this veer shiva right. entered 
Veera Shivas are absolutely poorites. They are priest class, pandas, and they are disregard the whole practice of the. They are mislead uh, the whole practice of the linga church. In in fact, what happened? Uh, if you go back to the Anubhav Mantapa, what happened there in one particular incident? Allo Prabhu asks Basona that uh, you know when we are saying that we are not. a religion we are we are we are uh, you know we are uh, across the concept of religion there, there is no dharma as such we are not we do not belong to uh, a particular caste or we want to eliminate all the casteism why Sir. you want to identify yourself or your people with the uh, vibhuti so very good question that uh, even buddha didn't say that it is a religion even mahavira didn't say that it was a religion they yes, all practiced yeah. the guru kutumb variety okay and so, basavanna so didn't what? say that it is a separate religion sir i'll tell you once one second give you a minute the suppressed class untouchable people who had no no right fundamental religious right to be a part of a uh, total hindu culture so they wanted to give all rights he said don't go to temple you yourself enna kale kamba deha vedyagula sirave vanna krasha vaya your legs are the pillars of the temple your head is a string the body is a temple why you want to go to temple you find a god within yourself so this sort of practices collectively later on they became as a religion basavanna buddha no one no one want to tell that it is a religion but it is a set of yeah. practices which we need because we don't want to be uh, put under the umbrella of vedic culture i myself my culture doesn't allow correct correct but what has, what has happened is there is so much of distortion that has happened no, over uh, extremely sorry it's not distortion sir it is fighting for the fundamental rights no no it no, is our right yeah, sir yeah. it is our right it is our right uh, uh, right of what we in right uh, to right of getting the right of getting the religious recognition for our for our uh, ideology is getting the minority status oh, yeah, for our okay. country okay there is a certain political mileage that needs to be gained this is what basically even uh, savarna said that that point is an answer to problem and i am extremely sorry to say that the media so picture in that way we have got mileage what you said is congress people try to get the benefit of it and uh, see we are we don't want to uh, let political desires are in, individual uh, out of all 32 people participated may not have the same ideology especially as a political parties are concerned as i personally feel it is not for any mileage of the uh, political it is there from 240 years 1841 when dr cp brown was the commissioner of madras province he himself has documented around 157 years gadgets say that lingayat is an independent rc car antowan there are all the people who worked for the survey kal society of country have mentioned but very unfortunately one c rangacharlu was the minister under the mysore government was a brahmin who knew the progressive thoughts of basavanna and lingayat religion in order to give a setback to this he made that he broke the whole integrity because lingayat is a labor party the one who had a shramika the one who works labor the one who has to mandatory to work it has were made at a caste kashi kamal the one who hits become the blacksmith the one who uh, uh, wash the clothes become the dobi This is what Basharman. So this is what Basmana says. There is no caste as such. Karna Dalit genesis or unte. Are there any people in the world who have born from the year? All have come from Saptadatu, Samayoni, Samapinda, Samatvava. He says the, the seven elements are found in uh, semen. Zygote is equal. The ba- baby's birth is also equal. Then how do you discriminate? This is the question asked by Basmana to the rest of the people during those people. And uh, as I said, it is uh, see media's will. Say that there was a mileage from the political parties, and to some extent they tried also. But our movement is not for any political gain or anything. We want to have the recognition that Basavanna Buddha, they were rational and radical. They should be given because this is the basic. When, a, a, for example, Muslims are for around fifteen to eighteen crores in India, they are getting minority status. They are uh, all religions. They are getting fundamental. They have got religious rights. Why? Why not Lingayat Sanat? when every uh, it is a non non vedic and non non hindu 
So, so, uh, I would, uh, so in the interest of time, uh, we would like to end this discussion. Uh, you please, know, we can please. definitely, uh, you Segregate know, uh, guys, plan, I, yeah, I second to. discussion and then we can uh, continue this, um, you know, discussion further because I, I'm sure that with the, you know, amount of questions we are getting, we should definitely plan for another discussion where we can get, uh, you know. Uh, that, 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 is the reason, that is the reason I gave this uh, topic to Rajananda Madam to have a, a uh, brief idea. Mm -hmm. Actually, I was yeah. supposed to take Then, Madam is equally. She did a good job. Thank you very much for everybody. Uh, th I would like to thank uh, uh, Rajnanda, ma'am. Uh, it was very, uh, you know, enlightening session. Um, you know, I myself learned so many uh, things uh, from from ma'am. Uh, the discussion, the uh, you know, the knowledge base ma'am has provided, and definitely. Uh, uh, Dr. Sashikant Patan, sir. Uh, it was really, uh, you know, uh, great to have you um, and answer all the questions. Uh, I know we had a lot of questions, uh, but uh, thank you for having patience, for answering all of them.